farming versus crafting. Now this is a question that gets asked around quite a lot, whether you should be a gold farmer or a crafter. So today we'll be going over the common topic of farming versus crafting. This is something that is debated and there are pros and cons to both. My goal is to help people decide which method is beneficial to you and how best we can apply this. So without further ado, let us begin. Let's first start off with farming. This is one area where the barrier to entry is very low in order to make gold. However, the barrier being low also means that most people are inclined to do this in order to make gold. This can lead to this method being highly competitive, though there are many gold farms out there which does help offset this with high pop servers. There are multiple different ways for farming gold, whether that be profession based with mining, herbalism, skinning and fishing. The most common of these are herbalism and mining followed closely by skinning. This is because mining and herbalism requires very little effort to do in regards to active gameplay and the returns are reflective of this. In regard to this skinning, this is more of an active part to play as you are having to kill mobs in the game, looting and then skinning which requires more activity in the game. This profession is one of the go-to professions when it comes to leveling as you'll be able to do a lot of killing when you are leveling and as such a lot of untapped leather if you are not a skinner while you are leveling. The last profession of course is fishing. This one is mostly overlooked due to a lot of old world fishing farms being not viable and along with being a secondary profession However, this can be a great gold farming profession if you know where to look. Albino cave fish is the most talked about of these, but there are multiple other ones you can do. Primal water being one of them in Nagrand, atop the elemental plateau which can provide quite a decent chunk of gold just by fishing. There are multiple other gold farms you can do without professions, which are elemental mats, mounts, battle pets, raw gold, but this typically rely on good RNG, meaning that you are rolling the dice a lot and seeing if you will get a return. The golden main rains being a good example. This farm is great if you can get the mount to drop. Located from any mob in Stormsong Valley, this is a great money maker, but the chances are you will be farming this for a good few hours before you get the mount in question. So you have to ask yourself if it is worth the time doing. Moving on to crafting, we can see through this that it is a very reliable gold making method and you are able to generate a decent chunk of gold over time. The biggest drawback for this is the investment cost of getting started and continued reinvesting earnings, meaning that this is more of a long term game plan for gold making. This however does have some great benefits if you are able to get past the cost of production, time being one of them. Crafting is by far one of the most time effective ways to make gold as it will give you better returns on your invested time as you are leveraging your time with gold and as such you are not tied to a gold per hour. This is perfect for people wanting to min max and by doing this you are able to scale far more than base farming excluding transmog which is a topic I would like to discuss in the future. Some notable professions to get started are alchemy, enchanting and inscription. These these, funnily enough, are all buff based professions, meaning these are for increasing your character's power, but they are always in demand because they do not always last. Alchemy pots and flasks are sought after on raid nights, and you have the potential to make a lot more gold on those nights. Enchanting being another which can be scaled quite well, but does require better sourcing of materials. Inscription is a great one too, that you can scale with the glyph market and utilize the ink trader. I made a guide on that a few months ago, so if you wanna check it out, I'll put it in the description. You can pull in a strong profit each and every week. There are more ways such as with crafted BOEs which can be beneficial. The better of the ones are mainly the crafted legendaries at this present time. These follow the basic crafting methods which are mostly interchangeable between professions and have the same scalability to them. So hopefully this gives you a good overview on farming versus crafting. Crafting is more of a scalable thing whereas farming you're mainly just 
investing loads of time into a gold per hour to gain goals. And generally speaking, with farming materials, you are more likely to sell those materials faster. So do you want to put in your time on an hourly basis and get fast returns? Or do you want to put in the time to play for the long term and scale up with crafting? Other than that, I hope that this answered any of the questions you may have and other than that guys have a wonderful rest of the day and i shall see you in the next video which will be soon mm -hmm.